Any program of drastic weight loss carries some degree of risk, but the most extreme method of all, surgery, has particular dangers. Lynn Shaw is aware of them, but she sees no alternative if she's to become thin. I have always had a weight problem. My mum says I started putting weight on when I was about nine, eight or nine. The lightest I've been when I met Steve, I was 12 stone and I was 18 years old. My heaviest I've been is just over 32 stone. I feel as though sometimes when we go, especially people that have known us for a long time, and I feel as though I have to apologise for the way I am. Lynn's been on a strict diet for six months, but she still weighs 27 stone. As Steve once said to me, it's like living with somebody that's disabled. Everything it affects me. Going upstairs, I can't wash myself properly. I can't cut my toenails, my daughter does that. Life. It's very hard, it makes it very, I don't very want hard. to be a size 8. I just want to be normal. I just want to live a normal life. I've got a wardrobe full of clothes up there from 14s to 32s. I want to throw my 32s away and start living in the smaller clothes. Uh, to go out and buy a pair of shoes, not size 9s. A pair of ladies size six, please. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it being over. I get very apprehensive going into situations being the size that I am. I've not made a will, but my children and Steve know who needs to get what. I have said to my mum and dad, if anything happens to me, please look after them all. A month after her surgery, Lynn is still limited to a liquid diet. If she eats too much at this stage, the band could move and cause damage to her stomach. She's beginning to find the restrictions difficult. The other day, I found myself wanting to chew, the sensation to chew. I'm yearning for food. Nothing sweet, no chips, nothing like that. Just something to chew on. I can't wait for the opportunity to, to be able to eat something. She regularly goes to her local slimming club to find out if it's all worth it. Every week I go and get weighed. It's unbelievably nerve-wracking. It is horrible what you put yourself through. It's awful waiting to be told whether you've lost weight or not. Lost another three tonight, Lynn, so well done. Thank you. I've lost seven pounds today. <laughs> I believed before my surgery it was the be all and end all. Now I know that it isn't. It has been a big help. But I know how much work I've Three months ago, Lynn Shaw was in hospital waiting for surgery on her stomach. I feel so much better. I just feel absolutely fantastic. She's recovered fully from the operation, although the lap band is restricting how much she can eat. If I eat and I don't take my time chewing it, it does hurt. You could always get that one spoonful in before. That doesn't happen anymore, or else you do regurgitate your food. Today, she's going back to hospital for a post-operation checkup with her surgeon, Mike Scott. The results of the lap band are very varied. It does depend to some degree on the motivation of the patient. Can I sit yourself down then? But generally speaking, the statistics are that about 70% of well, patients lose 70% of their excess weight. Well, we better have the moment of truth and pop you on the scales, haven't we? Do you know what you weigh? Yes, I do. 24 stone, 5. All right, you're a bit less than that. You're just about 24 stones, 152 kilos, something like that. Come and take... So far, Lynn's doing better than the average patient. 
At a current rate, she's on target to lose more than 10 stone over the next year. So you've lost all but four stones. That's not bad, is it, really? I'm made of. No, I'm delighted. I am too. All right, Lovely. well done. Thank you. Bye now. You know My dream will come over the next 12 months, but it will only come with my hard work, and I don't know how hard I'm going to work at it. At the moment, I can say yes, and next year I'll be size 16s. But come back and see me in 12 months and I'll tell you. <laughs>